It's time now for a look at latest in local sports and sports. The varsity basketball teams off to a nice 1-0 starting region play as both teams in action both Friday at home against Coffee, then on the road Saturday for an all region game against Glen Academy. Girls split the two games, winning Friday in the region contest 40-30 over Coffee. Carson Ward led the team with, in scoring with 12. Mercy White added 8, and Justice Robinson had 8, had 6, I'm sorry. The girls lost Saturday to Glen Academy. They'll be back in action this Friday at home against Warner Robinson, another key region game. The boys split as well. They defeated Coffee 50 42, but lost a tight game to Glen Academy, final 57 56. Once again, both teams start 1 0 in region play. The boys currently 10 5 overall. Region action Friday at home, hosting Warner Robins. This is high sc- the high school football banquet is set for this coming Thursday night at the high school cafeteria. The time is 6 p.m. The event's open to the public. Tickets are $10 each, and they're available at the door. Again, that's Thursday night at the high school, the annual high school football banquet. Reminder that on January the 18th from 5.30 to 7.30, the public's invited to meet and greet the new head football coach, J. Bo Shaw. The event's going to take place at Altamont Steak and Seafood Restaurant. The public invited to come out and meet the new coach. Again, that's Tuesday, January the 18th from 5.30 to 7.30 at Altamont Steak and Seafood. A little over a month away from the Wayne County Touchdown Club's $10,000 drawing. The event set for the Pine Forest Country Club this Saturday before the Super Bowl. Then that's Saturday, February the 12th. Tickets for the drawing are on sale, $100 each, available at Prime South Bank, Parker Insurance, and Realty. Also, you can get tickets at the Trademark and also at OCTS or from several Touchdown Club members. Tickets on sale, they always go fast, so make certain you have your ticket for the drawing Super Bowl Saturday night at the Pine Forest Country Club. Final week of the NFL season, a wild one. Several teams with a chance to make the playoffs with the win, but just couldn't do it. The Indianapolis Colts a win in their end over the Jaguars, but Jacksonville dominates the game 26-11. So Indy's out. Pittsburgh gets in with an overtime win over Baltimore 16-13. Niners get a win in overtime over the Rams. They get in the playoff picture as well. Falcons lost to the Saints 30-20. to Jaguars still get the number one draft pick in the upcoming draft because the Lions beat the Packers 37-30. Raiders with a big win in overtime last night over the L.A. Rams to get in the playoffs, 35-32. So the playoffs are set. It all begins this weekend, Saturday at 4.30. The Raiders will be at Cincinnati. New England will be at Buffalo at 8.15 on Saturday. Then Sunday, three games, Philadelphia, Tampa Bay, 49ers at Dallas, Pittsburgh at Kansas City. Then Monday night, Arizona and the L.A. Rams in a full schedule to kick off the playoffs with Super Bowl set for Sunday, February 13th in Los Angeles. Tonight is the much-anticipated rematch of Georgia and Alabama in the national championship game, and Georgia fans like myself hoping this, the result is not the same. Of that game played just four weeks ago with Alabama taking home the championship at the SEC, oddsmakers have Georgia listed again as a favorite. What, I ask, do they see? Georgia is currently 0-7 against Bama, and our coach Kirby Smart is 0-4, so how can we be favored tonight? What will be the final score? Georgia's hoping for a better showing. The defense says the key is to pressure and sack and dominate the game. That is the secret, so the outcome won't be the same. Bryce Young, the Heisman Trophy winner, and Nick Saban, the best coach. Bama fans simply yelling, roll tide. I have to be honest and let you know that my fear tonight, I just cannot hide. I've seen this movie before, more times than I care to recall, but I'm hopeful and have my fingers crossed that tonight I will see Alabama fall. I need the offense to be able to run the ball, and yes, I need the mailman to deliver one more time because if Georgia happens to lose again to Alabama, well, that would be a crime because all the blame will fall on a quarterback who has had an incredible year, but the critics will come out in full force, and that's my biggest fear. So I'm looking for the greatest story in all of sports, a former walk-on leading his team to the promised land, and after the game, we'll hear glory, glory to old Georgia played by the Redcoat Band, and Stetson can on – and Stetson can once again stand on that stage and have the biggest laugh of all, telling his many doubters and critics, guess what, I can play this game of football. I did it with hard work, perseverance, knowing the playbook better than anyone on this team, and now I'm a national champion and fulfilled a lifetime dream. Yes, Georgia beats Alabama, ends a 41-year, 41-year drought, and it will be the Georgia fans that will scream and shout. Glory, glory to old Georgia. The dogs are number one. Yes, tonight's game for Georgia fans will be a lot of fun. Let the celebration begin. Stetson Bennett, a hero for walk-on to a national champ. I might just have to write to the postal company and have them do a stamp. For the mailman who did his job and silenced all those who had died, Stetson Bennett led the dogs to the national title. The national media can begin to shot. What a story for the ages. His face should be on the cover of SI. 
and all his critics and skeptics won't be able to lie. Don't jump on the bandwagon now. Just walk away in shame as Stetson Bennett proves you all wrong and goes out and helps win this game. Yes, it'll be glory, glory, Joe, Georgia. The dogs will be number one in the year 2022, and for years to come, for dog fans, it's going to be a lot of fun. I see it as a low-scoring game. I'll take the dogs 24-17. to Watching the celebration is going to be a great scene. Enjoy the game, everyone. Again, the night's game, Georgia-Alabama, tonight at 8 p.m. ESPN has the telecast. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports.